Amazon and the coronavirus. What has it done for sales? What categories should you be selling in? And is it a good time to start? I provide all the answers to these questions in this video. Enjoy. So what categories should you sell in? Is it a good time to get started? Should I wait? These are questions that Amazon sellers and people looking to get into selling on Amazon ask themselves all the time. I'm sure you have asked yourself some of these questions, and if you have, smash that like button so others will know they are not alone. I'm here to share my experience selling on Amazon, especially my experience selling on Amazon during the coronavirus, and to tell you that there is so much opportunity on Amazon right now. A lot of gurus will tell you to wait until this is over and the market levels out, but I couldn't disagree more. Personally, we think this is a terrible idea. Not sell on Amazon? No way. Before you go listening to someone telling you that, do your research on them. Make sure they are actually living that seller life. Ensure that they know what they are talking about before taking their advice. And that applies to anybody you plan on taking suggestions from. Check your sources, Google them, search for their social media accounts or YouTube channels, ask other people if they have worked directly with them, ask about them in Facebook groups, even reach out to them and try to get them on the phone. Go straight to the source. You will find out quickly who the good ones are. So what has Amazon done for sales in the past 45 days since the virus came to the United States? Well, that all depends on what you are selling. For example, Reezy Resells, who was a 100% FBA bookseller, has seen his sales decrease dramatically. But dude is a straight hustler. And now he is grinding, making up for the lost revenue by doing Instacart deliveries. Respect to Reezy. Other sellers like Glenn the bookseller, shown here, who last month was the 44th largest Amazon seller in the United States, have since dropped to position 92 overall. Glenn the bookseller sells mainly books, arts and crafts, and electronics. How about this next seller, Power Innovations, who last month was ranked 154th largest Amazon seller in the United States. And this month, their rank went up to 241. Now, Power Innovations also sells mainly electronics, cell phone accessories, and home and kitchen products. This information was pulled directly from sellerratings.com. The link's down in the description. And sellerratings.com uses feedback to rank their sellers. The more sales you make, the more seller feedback you receive. And that's how they rank the largest Amazon sellers. To be a top 100 Amazon seller, you must be selling millions of dollars per month on Amazon. And to drop 48 positions, in the case of Glenn the bookseller, your business has literally been cut in half. That is the loss of millions of dollars in sales. We are talking facts right now. And all the signs point to what you don't want to be selling right now. Products in categories like books, sports, outdoor and patio. Use your noggin and think of what everyone is not using right now. What would you not buy during these times? Those are the products you don't want to sell. Always think like a consumer, which should be very easy because at the end of the day, we are all consumers. But don't fret, there is hope and a lot of it. Tons of hope as well as tons of opportunity. Some companies are doubling their Amazon businesses. For example, us, Amazon Lit. We went from selling on average $2 million per month to now selling $4 million per month. And we sell all the household essentials, toothpaste, deodorant, soap, shampoo, food, all the products that people don't want to leave their house to buy, but use on a daily basis. Amazon classifies these products as essentials and for an entire month, even limited FBA shipments to only these types of products. It should all be making sense now. Has the light bulb gone off yet? Here's some other companies whose businesses have dramatically increased in the past month. Last month, eSupplements shown here was a top 100 Amazon seller with a ranking of 68 in the United States. This month, they dropped to position 28 on the top 100 US-based Amazon sellers list. That is mind blowing. They sell mainly supplements and their business has also doubled overnight. 
It makes perfect sense though. People are becoming conscious of their health because they are home all day and realizing if they don't pay attention to their health, they may run into some health issues in the future. This is the last one. CPGIO shown here, a 100% wholesale operation has seen huge growth in its top seller rank from 172nd last month to 77th this month. Literally overnight, they dropped nearly 100 positions and became a top 100 Amazon seller. And what do they sell? You guessed it, grocery products, health and household, home and kitchen, personal care. The proof of the opportunity and what products to be selling is right in front of your face. I'm delivering it to you on a silver platter. It's all over this video with screenshots and all. So to recap, what has the coronavirus done to Amazon sales? It has done wonders for Amazon sellers who sell the essential products. While other Amazon sellers who do not sell in those essential categories and have not pivoted and changed their business model are feeling the pain from diminishing sales. You must adjust accordingly. We believe these sales will continue to remain amazing in these specific categories for at minimum two more months. So it's not too late to get involved. So yes, this is a great time to get started selling on Amazon, especially if you are brand new or have little experience. What better time to learn than a time when you can literally list products tonight, FBM, fulfilled by merchant, and be shipping them out tomorrow. It will teach you so much about shipping, referral fees, reimbursements, pick and pack fees, customer returns, all of the integral parts of operating a successful Amazon business. And if you're already selling on Amazon, capitalize on this opportunity to provide a service to the end consumer, reach out to your distributors, get catalogs, and start buying those products. The volume we have been selling on some of our products is truly astonishing to say the least. Some SKUs we sell consistently 180 plus units a day, while others have been consistent all month at 50 plus units per day. You always have options. And in this case, you can let the Rona hold you back and allow it to negatively affect your life, or you can seize the opportunity and build a business for yourself. But hey, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just letting you know what worked for us. And our experience with Amazon has been nothing less than amazing. Stay lit. All right. I'll see you, Ted. Oh, Eric, you're here? I'm here. A, uh, here. a thumbnail. Thumbnail time. Thumbnail time. I thought I wasn't recording. That would have been fucking devastating. Let's see here. Hippies? We'll get some hippies. Yeah, I'll see you, Ted. Have a nice night. The Coroni? The Coroni, bro. The Coroni macaroni. You got do you guys Greg in the next feature or what? No, but we're gonna interview Greg. Nice, you gotta get a screenshot. Ted, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna interview you. Oh.